my chair. What's that? It's going to be cold. Oh. 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 Get her a partner. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.
it's already up and going. Oh, you're just running it already? Okay, excellent. Okay. Now they're here to talk. <laughs> I think I'll sit with you guys here. Do you need help? Maybe? I guess. Okay, all right.
for us. sitting right where you guys are sitting actually probably down here with these kids the big kids in blue where they're sitting 
They were very excited about it too. And after the service, when we talked about it, one of those kids came up to me and said, I found on the floor in the church one of these. What is that? Close. Look a little closer. Look a little closer. Quarter. That's right. They found a quarter. And they came to me and said, I found this quarter. I said, well, if you found it, I guess you can keep it. They looked at me and they said, nah, I want to get into the building. I want it to go toward the new building that we're going to build out there. That was seven years ago today. Seven years ago, during one of the children's messages, they did that when we were talking about the new building. After the church was over, they said, I want to give this to the new building. And that started us with an idea that every penny that goes to the building is a gift to God. And every little bit counts. Do you remember the story of the widow? And she gave her two last pennies. And Jesus said, those are more valuable than lots of money given. And so we started to build our church. How does the motto go? One dime at a time. Every little gift counts. Including the very first gift, which was given by someone your age. And so today, we get to see the results of that very first gift as we shovel the very first hole for the building that will be. That was exciting. And you guys get to be a part of that. Isn't that neat? Let's pray and thank God for that. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for being here at Winston and for blessing us. We ask you to help us to remain faithful to you and to your word so that we can bless you and the community around us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As the children are exiting the stage, I do want to point out a couple things in the bulletin. Uh, firstly, the the last hymn that we'll be singing on, on Christ the Solid Rock is not number 451, it's 293. You'll find it there. And then um, everything that's in the bulletin, all the scripture readings are available in inserts. They will be on the overhead, but because of the... Um, obstacle course that's up there, we decided also to include them in the bulletin so we can follow along with all of those in the bulletin. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of announcements, Tim, since while those kids are getting off stage prior to the, the um, music ministry there. Um, the kids already told you that next week is Jonah and the Worm, so uh, get your tickets or face the plank. And uh, this Saturday is the Halloween porch party. You can talk to Raylene if you are interested to find out more about that. There's costumes for sale. New prayer lists are available in the best of you. We want to wish a happy birthday to Wayne. Uh, happy birthday, old man. You're catching up to me every year a little bit more. Oh yes, the Kettle Corn Fundraiser is starting today, and Recharge, which is scheduled to start this coming up Wednesday, we're going to postpone that one week, since the kids will be practicing and rehearsing all this week in the evenings during that time. So if you're planning on joining us for Recharge, mark your calendars not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, we will actually begin. I think that's all the announcements I have.
Amen. Our call to worship this morning comes from Ezra chapter 3 and the 10th verse and following where it says, When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments and with, and with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, took their places. Thank you, Brian. Why is it matter? <laughs> took their places to praise the Lord as prescribed by David, king of Israel. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord. He is good. His love toward Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise. Woo! Hallelujah. And uh, they gave a great shout of praise to the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Turn in your bolt into the responsive reading and continue our worship. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And every day is with thanksgiving, and his words with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Praise the Lord. Linda, will you open us in prayer? Please bow with me. Father God, we praise you for your faithfulness, your love, and your mercy, and we thank you for your many blessings as we humbly come together in your presence, guide us, Holy Spirit, and draw us closer to you through Jesus Christ. Bless us in this time of fellowship and prayer. The life stages of this church have been blessed by you, dear Jesus, our beginnings, our middle, our present day, and we ask that you bless our future. You are the roof over our heads. Father, you bring us shelter at all times. You are beyond us, you are within us, and you surround us at all times. You're the one true God that blesses us with the power to get through each day. You are what energizes us with your word, the truth that equips us in a troubled world, and we trust in your promises. We reach our hands to you, Lord Jesus, for help, guidance, wisdom, love, and grace. Equip us with acceptance and courage in the days ahead. Thank you for your gifts of love and grace and that never expire, even when we set them aside during times of disconnect with you and forgive us for ignoring your unconditional love and sometimes thinking that we can do things ourselves. What a sense of excitement and anticipation we're feeling today as we move forward to make new history. Keep us focused only on you and the future you have planned for us to glorify your name far and wide. Give us wisdom and guidance as we move ahead with this new worship and fellowship site that will enable us to welcome more followers that hunger and thirst as we hunger and thirst for your word. Give thanks for the many, many people from Winston and parts unknown that generously gave, making this groundbreaking day possible. Winston Church was founded, I think, over 260 years ago on your word through patience, faith, trust, wisdom, love, and your grace. What a joy we feel in our hearts that we've been so blessed by you and we give praise and thanksgiving to you for all these blessings and your faithfulness to us all these many years. You are the God of all tomorrows. Inspire us to follow in your footsteps at all times. 
even when we stumble and fall, Lord, pick us up and set us back on the right path. You patiently wait for us, even during the periods when we're living worldly lives and not following your light. Thank you for your mercy and forgiveness when we fail you. Guide us, Holy Spirit, as we grow in our surroundings and our surroundings change. Keep us in your word and in prayer. We believe in miracles through Jesus. We, we see them every day in so many different ways. You sent us one miracle after the other. And we know that you'll never abandon us as long as we follow your word. Everything we have is yours, Heavenly Father. Remind us always that our blessings are from you and to share the rewards you've given us with others in need. Whether that's through acts of love, giving money, sharing food, being kind, or prayers. We ask a special blessing, dear God, for the prayer requests that are listed in today's bulletin. You already know these needs and requests, and, and we lift them to you. We also ask for prayers for Tyke McNerney, a uh, former classmate of mine that was recently diagnosed with colitis. Guide the doctors in prescribing correct medicines uh, to alleviate her pain and discomfort uh, that she's now having. Um, guide the doctors also and bring healing to Myla Negley's sister, Elizabeth Malford, um, many of us know her as Aunt Dee, who has congestive heart failure and possibly other, other heart ailments. Also, we ask a special blessing today on the family of Harry Clayton um, after his recent passing. Hear all these prayers of healing, O oh Lord. And the, at the close of this worship service today, Lord, we pray, Heavenly Father, that our time together will have been blessed through your presence and the word you've given us this morning. Please hear our prayer that you've taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 